Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Our God has given us everything that we need for life and godliness. And that is what scripture says. So God has given us all the resources that we need to live a godly life. He has given us his presence. He has given us his word. He has given us the Holy Spirit so that we might live a victorious life, so that we might live a life that is above the natural, a supernatural life. Today we are looking at some of the wisdom and instructions that we see in the book of Proverbs and see how we can apply it in our lives. Uh, I'm reading from Proverbs chapter 9 uh, verses 10 and 11, a very familiar verse. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. For by me your days will be multiplied and years of life will be added to you. The fear of the Lord, the reverent awe of God is the first place or the commencement, starting place of wisdom. Now, wisdom can be acquired in many different ways. Experience, um, knowledge, learning, instruction, and we, we acquire it and uh, we can acquire wisdom. Uh, we, can, we can acquire wisdom when we talk to wise people and when we discuss things with people. We can, we can acquire it in many different ways. But this verse says that the fear of the Lord, the reverent fear of God, the reverent awe of God is the commencement, is the starting point, uh, the starting place of what is called as real wisdom, is the beginning of wisdom. And, the, and for us to grow in the knowledge of God, for us to continuously grow in the knowledge of the Holy One is true understanding or correct knowledge or understanding perfectly. So the fear of God and the knowledge of the Holy One. So the, we are called to pursue this intently and keep this fear alive. No, it's not a morbid fear where we avoid God, where we keep our distance from God. Now we know that God loves us. We know that he loves us so much that he sent the Lord Jesus to die on the cross for us. And by the stripes of Jesus, we are saved, we are forgiven, we are healed. Every curse is taken away. So we know that he has always our good in mind. But when we see an instruction like this, the fear of the Lord, it's talking about a reverential fear, a reverential awe of God, where we do not take God for granted, where we do not take his word lightly, where we esteem and honor his word highly. And when we do that, that is the starting place of wisdom. That is the starting place of wisdom. Um, you know, many of us uh, can acquire knowledge, maybe even acquire wisdom. And there are many in the world who, who have knowledge and who have great wisdom. But the wisdom that comes from God is the one that protects, is the one that is of good character and is the one that establishes. And sometimes we look at people's lives and we understand and we see, you know, this person is so gifted and yet made some bad moral choices. And how is that possible? With all that wisdom, with, with all that knowledge, how is that possible? And this is the answer. Because without the fear of the Lord, we, we do not have the right kind of wisdom. Without the understanding of the Holy One, knowledge of the Holy One, we do not have the right understanding and uh, knowledge. And the promise is that days will be multiplied, years of life will be added to us. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, God, for this admonition, for this uh, uh, instruction, for this warning, and uh, for this exhortation that the fear of the Lord, that we need to keep a reverential fear, a reverential awe of you always in our hearts and to esteem your word highly and to respect you and honor you, God, and not to take you lightly. And Father God, we thank you that the promise is that it will preserve us, it will protect us to keep us in the right path. And I pray that this will be our experience 
as we go through this day. We thank you in Jesus name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.